Hello there, my name is Tony Harmer. I'm a trainer and creative suite expert and you can find out more about me on my website tonyharmer.co.uk or by following me on facebook.com slash tonyharmertraining. What I want to show you today is how InDesign CS6 allows us to overcome some of the shortcomings of copy and paste inside of an InDesign document or between different documents with the new content collector tool. You can access the tool by pressing B on your keyboard or by pressing this icon, the fifth one down in the toolbox. When you do so, this small window will appear here called the Content Conveyor. And this has two modes. It has Collection Mode and Placing Mode. And you can switch between modes by either clicking the icons on the bottom left or by pressing B on your keyboard to flick between them. So, in collection mode, I'm going to just click on an image here, and you see it's placed into the conveyor like so. And I can then switch over to another InDesign document, or indeed stay inside the same one if I wanted to, and then switch modes into placement mode. I'm just going to press B to do that, like so. And I've got a few options for how I'm going to place it. So the default behavior here is to place it, remove it from the conveyor, and load the next one in the queue. Although you can also place multiple instances of the selected object and keep them in the conveyor. And if you're doing that, you can use the right and left arrow keys to cycle through the images that are there. And another option you've got is to place it, keep it in the conveyor, and load the next one along in the queue. And that becomes like a cycle of objects inside of there, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. So I'm just going to place this, I'm just going to click and drag here to place this proportionally, like so. And you'll see that it's now removed from the conveyor because that's the behavior I had selected just there. I'm going to pop across into my other InDesign document. Another way I can load this is by having a selection. So I'm just going to select a range of images there, like so. And this would apply, of course, to any InDesign object. Although I'm using images here, it could be anything, even animations. Uh, can be included in that. I'm going to press B to go to my content collector and this time I'm going to come across to the bottom right of the conveyor and click the load content button just there and you see the options I've got here are to load from the current selection, to load from a set of pages or to load all of the pages including the pasteboard objects. The selection will do just fine here so I'm going to click OK and you can see I get a small marker just there telling me how many objects are in this particular collection. So I'm just going to come back out into my other InDesign document. So I'm ready to place these objects and you'll see that as I click and drag that they're placed with the same arrangement in which they were collected. I'm just going to undo that because if I actually want to get into the set and place objects from inside it, I can simply with the placement options selected, press the down arrow on my keyboard and then you'll see it expands the set and then it behaves just like the conveyor from before. So you'll see that now I'm just going through and placing all of those images. If I want to remove them from the conveyor, I can just press the escape key on my keyboard and you'll see they're all purged from there as we go along. I'm just going to pop back into my other InDesign document. This time, I'm going to pick up this text block down at the bottom here, so it's added to the conveyor like so. I'm going to switch out to my other InDesign document and press B to switch into place mode. And then I'm going to enable this create link button just here. And I'm going to click and drag across there to place that text block. And what happens here is I've got this small link icon at the top and this now has a parent-child relationship with the other document. So if I make a change inside of this document, which I'm about to do just now, I'm just going to come out here and I'll change the word everyone here for anyone, like so. And I'll just save that. So now if I come back into this document, you'll see there's a little hazard triangle at the top of the text box just there. And that tells me that this is unsynchronized with its parent content. So with my main selection tool, I'm just going to double click on that and you'll see that it updates 
that like so. And then they're synchronized. And this gives me an enormous amount of possibilities for making an update in one document and then not having to worry about updating it inside of other documents. So there we have it. That's the new content collector tool inside of InDesign CS6. My name is Tony Harmer. Thanks for watching.